The adventure at a Muskegon County Park no longer ends when the seasons transition from winter to summer. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills has more on why the former Muskegon Winter Sports Park has a new name. This park, traditionally known for its winter activities, is about to take a big step towards becoming a year-round adventure park. What to do when the snow and ice melts? That was the big question managers at the former Muskegon Winter Sports Park started asking a decade ago. Their answer, build a luge track for sleds with wheels, add archery and other activities <laughs> in the woods, and this. It's going to be an epic ride. A dual zip line. Five years in the making. So excited to do this. That launches from the Two, top of a dune. One. We've built them across rivers and ponds and lakes, uh, but I've never built them over a luge track before. Ryan Dietrich's Illinois-based construction company was called on to build the zip line that not only zips over the park's winter and summer luge tracks, Whoa! but through a canopy of trees too. It is quite long, 1,300 feet. The attraction just finished final inspections. Whoa! Testing with weights Yay! is over. These are the first runs with people, park staff training to get ready for park visitors, and a dual zip line line is said to be twice the fun. It's really nice if you can step off and ride right next to somebody. It's the shared experience that families and friends can have together. We're excited to uh, move on to the next project. Park Executive Director Jim Rudisell already has plans in hand rock for the next wall. build. A four-sided rock climbing wall. And not just any climbing wall. We're going to make it year-round. We're going to make it an ice climbing wall in the winter time. For a park that was known for decades only for its luge. People know that that's a Muskegon. The new name and the new attractions being added here are being done with the goal of getting more people outdoors no matter the season would be to um, really replicate what we do in the winter and the summertime so you know if we saw 60 to 70 thousand visitors a year uh, we'd be ecstatic with that and the exact opening date for that new dual zip line isn't yet set but it will be in june in muskegon county john mills 39 your side